Hi everyone, uh, this is a picture of Cape Verde on Mars. Uh, it was taken by the Opportunity rover. Uh, the NASA photo identifier is PIA 10209. This is a TIF image. Uh, it's about 45 megabytes and it should be viewed uh, uh, with a screen resolution of 2560 by 1440. Uh, this is a high resolution image and I will be pointing out uh, images in high detail and if you don't have the proper screen to view it you won't be able to see the, uh, the finer details and uh, it will be a, a very frustrating. Uh, so again this is Cape Verde. Uh, this is a uh, shocking, another shocking image uh, from Mars that depicts um, uh, more life forms and uh, evidence of uh, maybe the remnants of an ancient civilization that once used to uh, exist on Mars uh, and that suffered some kind of cataclysm and what we're viewing uh, is possibly the remnants of that uh, civilization but I'll be zooming in on uh, four areas uh, that display uh, objects um, of interest and the first one of over here I'll zoom in uh, and I just want to note that I've added color uh, or tinting to the image uh, I've done nothing to uh, the image itself I've just added color to uh, show uh, definition so this is uh, to me it's obviously a some kind of container uh, it has a lid, uh, it has some kind of hinge, it's obviously rectangular. Uh, if we zoom in a little bit closer, uh, it has what appears to be uh, maybe a handle on this side. And I'll zoom in real close, and anybody who wants to get a screenshot of that can. Now in association with this image, uh, in this area, uh, there are other things going on uh, that um, for those who have really high-end equipment I just want to note. Now this is one area here. Uh, this appears to be some kind of energetic object. Uh, and this here also appears to be some kind of energetic uh, object. So I just wanted to point those out. I didn't colorize them because I don't want to make this too busy. I just wanted to uh, focus on the obvious uh, items. So I'll pull back. So this is one. This is a, some kind of container uh, with a lid uh, in the uh, crater wall. And I'll zoom back out. And I will zoom uh, this will give us some perspective. I'll zoom into the central area here. Be forewarned, uh, this is a another life form, a humanoid life form that I have colorized, and this is really an amazing shot. So I'll zoom in real tight. There we go. Now this life form here uh, definitely appears humanoid. Uh, it has uh, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, uh, regular humanoid features, uh, shoulder uh, area, arm. Uh, if we count the fingers, is one, two, three, four, and I'm assuming there's a thumb right in here. And he appears to be holding some kind of object, but in this image here, I can't really make it out. Uh, and um, his back is braced up against the uh, this crevice and he appears to be holding some kind of uh, shield or some protective screen uh, and this is just a phenomenal shot I mean this is uh, 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 this image you can download right off the NASA server and if you have the proper viewing equipment uh, you can certainly resolve these features so I'll uh, leave that for a second anybody wants to get a screenshot I'll zoom in real tight on the face and then I'll zoom back out and like I said this is really amazing
Now, in association uh, with a lot of these crater uh, walls and faces, uh, I found um, rock paintings or drawings or uh, th they might be something else, but uh, this is, uh, I just wanted to point this out, I didn't colorize it. Uh, this is like another rock painting here. Uh, or it, it could be something else, but it, it is an area of interest, and I wanted to point that out for those who have the proper viewing equipment. And this is really just uh, phenomenal. That's a phenomenal image. Now, in association with these rock paintings, uh, there appears to be uh, uh, different kinds of life in the in the uh, I, I've been calling these energetic life forms are just comprised of energy and this image or these items are actually in the image I've just added color to it and I highlighted these because they display a lot high detail they also display motion uh, this energetic motion and I wanted to uh, bring that to uh, everyone's attention because this is really amazing and there is similar activity to the left and to the right all up and throughout this uh, through this image but I highlighted uh, just these because they have uh, very interesting detail they show this energetic uh, motion and uh, it's uh, prominent in the image itself. So I'll pull back to get a little more perspective. And I'll go over to one more area that I've highlighted. And that's this area here. And this I found fascinating because this is actually, uh, I believe, another container. And it's almost like a clamshell and I'll zoom in real tight. Now it clearly has geometry, all right? It's got uh, smooth sides. Uh, it's got these uh, scalloped or serrated um, uh, edges to it. Uh, and you can clearly, clearly make out a similar geometry on the lower uh, portion. And it's just sitting, sitting there. Uh, now there are, is some other associated items around it uh, that may be related or may not. But I wanted to point this out because this clearly uh, is not a natural object. Uh, it's, it's, it clearly shows evidence of manufacture. Uh, there are two parts to it. It's open uh, and uh, it's just sitting there. So I wanted to uh, point that out. So this is an other fascinating, this is just one more image uh, on Mars demonstrating uh, life, uh, different types of life, and also evidence of uh, uh, manufacture um, and uh, obvious uh, some, some type of intelligence. So I'll leave you with that. This is the image that you can download directly. Uh, you do need the proper viewing equipment and the uh, software to handle it to be able to resolve it. But this is PIA 10209 Cape Verde on Mars. I'll leave you with that. I have other amazing images and uh, God bless uh, for now. Take care.